So when you log into Playtown, this is where you start. You start at the metro station. And then you run up these stairs, and I can never get up them without banging into the wall, but that's okay. You know, that's fine. Nobody saw me. It's good. And generally, the first thing anybody does when they come into the game is check out the playground and their apartments. Now, I'm on a Vespa, and this never ends well for me, but we'll see if I can miss the bollards. Yes, a little bit. If your graphics card can handle it, the graphics can be punched up a lot more than this, and they look fairly amazing, but my graphics card can't handle it. Just let me shove my Vespa back in my pocket. Now, the reason everyone heads to the playground first, including my friend Evie, is for satisfaction points. Um, you can see the smiley face at the top here. And the game's got an interesting mechanic that I've never seen in other games, although it probably exists. I haven't played everything ever. But when you've got your satisfaction points, which I should spawn shortly... There's a couple. You can trade them in, so I'm just going to level myself up. Here. So instead of uh, earning pure experience or pure money for things, you earn these satisfaction points. There are things that you do earn um, fame and money for. I don't think you do earn money, actually. Anyway, I digress. I'm rambling. It's all good. So what you do is then you decide that I would like... Uh, I've got 76 points, so I would like say 25 fame points and 50 coins so you decide basically what you do with your points that you've earned that up. and that levels me up so now I'm a level 11 I'm practically owning this game so the playground works until the green up here around the uh, sad face is blue which I'm not going to do because it takes a little while. So I'll just spew some more. Um, so that's basically how you get satisfaction points. You can also make a wish, and what I'm going to win in the wishing well is a wall shelf, because I always win wall shelves. Make a wish, that costs a coin. Oh, a desk chair. I've only got four of those. So you basically start off with nothing, as in most games. And by earning these satisfaction points through various activities, and um, predominantly on the playground, but also through mini-games, and that's about it really, you can get yourself coined up, you can get yourself leveled up, and I can't show you a fancy apartment because I only have the starter apartment. I'm still saving up for a fancy apartment. So here's the loading screen, here we go. Now there's not a lot of customization available in the game. Um, there's a couple of things. These banners up here, you can put in a URL and get your own texture in there. That photo frame there is a picture of the Marcus Cinema in Chicago Heights that I took. Uh, that's really about, about it. But you can have friends over, I'll invite I'll invite Evie over. And while she's turning up, I will work on my laptop. I've had fish for about two weeks and I haven't fed them, but they're okay. They're fine. Everything's good. It's so true to life you can even take out your rubbish. Look at that. Which earns you points. I'm just going to read a book while I'm in here. It's beautifully decorated in my place, isn't it? I mean, it's it's just it's minimalist, but I think it's nice. So obviously, uh, because it's a social game, there's a bit of an emphasis on see how badly I move in this game. This is terrible. Can't move. There we go. So I tend to sort of wear sort of daggy clothes, but you can get your uh, your costumes on. Evie is a bee currently, because I'm not a bee. I am a flamenco dancer. So 
So there's a little bit of customization with the clothes. You can change the primary colors. She said as they didn't change. But it's all fairly basic. So if I cancel that, I should still have. Yes, good. And Evie doesn't want to come and visit me. So, you know, I'm just going to have a bath. You can have a bath every three hours. So I'm going to go out and see what Evie's up to. So it's still fairly limited in what you can and can't do. Um, and it's also quite a small map. Oh, there she is. Look at her showing off. She's got juggling balls, if I can get her in frame. The camera controls are a disaster. I'm used to second life camera controls that you can do what you like with. So while she's... See what I mean about blowfish? She's got a blowfish head. Um, I will DJ. So there's a few... You know, there's things you can, you can buy and play with, like the DJ set or the juggling balls, or you can get a guitar. I'll just tell Evie to bust out a guitar. That's about the limit of your musical instruments there. There's also mini games. Um, there's darts and backgammon and basketball. So I'm going to play some basketball now to show you how bad I am at playing basketball. I have not mastered anything in this game at all. But these are the things that you can do to earn yourself... Oh, look at that! Nothing but net! Um, earn yourself points to spend on apartments and clothes and stuff for your apartments. And food for your fish if you're the kind of person that likes to feed your fish. Yeah, see, I... I just don't seem to have the... Um, there we go. I am ranked in basketball, which is alarming. I mean, some people must be truly terrible at it. Oh no, so close. It's interesting to me because when I first got in here, I thought, well, there's nothing to do. There's, there's sort of nothing to, to, you know, the mini games aren't that enthralling. The city's tiny, really. For for an online game, the, the city space is minute. But it's kind of just weirdly addictively fun, and the uh, the community's great. I'm just going to pogo over, um, or not. <laughs> All right, fix that. I'm just going to pogo over to Evie now. <laughs> or did she leave? She can't have left. So rude. The community is for the most part really, really good. There's just it's just full of lovely, fun, chatty people. So if you're looking for a social MMO, and I realise that these videos aren't supposed to be a review as such. See how bad I am at... it's just... <sighs> Other people can do this for days without falling off. Um, oh, I'll go to the bank while I think of it. Uh, what was I saying? I know, yeah, I know these videos aren't supposed to be reviews. They're supposed to be me making a fool of myself. So I'm going to do that for you on my Vespa, because I am bad at Vespa. You get uh, 40 silver a day if you check it every 12 hours. The 
other thing is skateboards. And I showed this to my fiancé and he said that's not how you stand on a skateboard and I said it is if you're wearing heels. That's one of the frustrating limitations. Um, ladies only. Ladies only get heels, which is ridiculous. But I'm gonna fess for now. Sorry, Eva's making me laugh. While we're waiting for Evie to get to the train, I'll just show you, because the Vespa's really sort of uncontrollably fast. So it's alright on the straights, you can burn through, but on the corners, oh, everything's terrible. Bollards. And what usually happens to me is... I meet a pole, there we go. See, this is what I was saying, that the city is actually quite small, this is the, the edge of the city, so there's no going beyond that point unless you know where the glitches are. And I do. Um, but what usually happens to me with the Vespa is I end up on top of things, thusly. But as long as there's no witnesses, it's all right. So let's just see if Evie's in yet. I'm stuck in a table now. See, it's a little bit glitchy at the moment, but, you know, like I said, it's not finished yet. There's plenty of plans to expand the world, and um, I think there's rumours of a marina. Oh, she's on the platform already. She's so speedy. You know, she started playing a day after me, and she's already got like 16 apartments. Such a wench. Also, the, the female run animation is hilarious. You know, you have to admit. There's my bee. So there's no voice chat or anything in here. It's all text chat. Um, you can add your friends, obviously, you can ignore people, there's all the, the usual functions of a chat room. Uh, you can dance if you want to, you can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance then they're no friends of mine. The dancers are also hilarious. You know, a lot of the animations and everything needs smoothing. But it's um, it's like I said, it's weirdly fun, and I'm going to finish this video with the thing that I fell in love with, and that is the train. The first time I played this, I found the train, and I sat on it for a good, oh, six or seven hours. There's the button. It's all button operated. There we go. I didn't really sit on it for six hours. I do have a life. So this, you know, I'm sitting here and saying, isn't this great? And sort of hardcore gamers are going, well, what do you kill? Well, you don't kill anything in Playtown. You have dinner with your friend who is dressed like a bee. Uh, you chat, you pogo stick. Races are really huge. Everybody races. And uh, I'm bad at it. I, I do win if my friend goes backwards. So anyway, that's that's kind of the, the gist of Playtown. And, you know, I mean, I've, I've shown you quite a lot of stuff. There's stuff that I haven't shown you, like the other apartments, and there's a club and a pub and darts and all the rest of it. It is strangely compelling, even though technically there's not much to do, but the community is so great that for a social game it's just spot-on perfect, I think. And it's growing and it's great. And, you know, come and play. And you can't... Oh, you can see my name because it's on the screen there. But if you do sign up, you know, my name's Dart Frog, so say hello. Or don't, it's up to you. You know, I can't, I can't make you be my friend. Still a little bit glitchy, and I'm up a tree. I've never been up a tree before in this game, so that's exciting.